Welcome to another Healthy Indoors Minute. Right now, we're in our house that we're building. We're in mid-construction, and right now, as you already know, if you stay tuned to this channel, we are in a super airtight house that does not yet have electricity. So, of course, we have whatever is going on in here chemically, microbially, uh, physically. And if you don't know about the home chem experiment, you should tune into that playlist. All of that stuff that is hugely dynamic and hugely important for what is going on in this indoor environment is being trapped. And this is any modern airtight home and all modern homes are way more airtight than they used to be. And so let's find out how much formaldehyde and other chemicals are being trapped and being um, mixed together and reacted and creating new chemicals inside of this space while we're under construction. Because of course, right now, as you can see, we've got lumber, which anybody who is in the wood industry will say, oh, all wood emits formaldehyde. What we're talking about here is things, uh, materials that have added formaldehyde to them because of the glues and things like that. You can see behind me that we've got some engineered lumber that has big writing on it. That stuff has added formaldehyde in the glues. And so we're talking about anything that's OSB, which is the sheathing of this house, uh, engineered lumber, laminates, things like that. We've got eye joists in this house. We've got uh, all kinds of stuff. So let's find out what the work environment here is like. And now we're going to be able to track once we actually provide electricity to this house, we start ventilating it, which all houses need ventilation. And you can follow the links that are on this screen right now and in the description below to find out way more about that. Once we ventilate it, then we'll have a totally different signature. And we're going to make another measurement at that point. And then when we move in and my family starts enjoying this house uh, with our kids and our cats, and we start cooking and cleaning and being and sloughing off our skin particles and all the totally interesting, gross stuff that people add to the mix, then we'll test it again. And we'll find out this journey of what is going on chemically in this house. Uh, and what's amazing about this is that our friends at Hayward Score have introduced us to a laboratory. So we are going to test the air inside the house with very sophisticated stuff. This is a pump that Prism Analytical sends with your kit. And you can do this for your clients if you work in the building industry. If you're a homeowner, you could do this if you want to be super hardcore. They send you the pump, which you want to test first by making sure that when you turn it on, you can hear the pump running and you see the little green light. Uh, of course, they are maintaining their own equipment, so they make sure that it's cleaned and that it's powered up and all that stuff. We are about to pull air with that pump through some filters. These filters live inside of vials. We have two kinds of vials that we're using today. Uh, they sent us the formaldehyde test vial and the uh, VOC test vial. Formaldehyde is a very particular chemical that obviously we're looking for because of all the reasons I just said with the wood products around us. This is a health hazard. This is a major problem, even in existing homes that don't have all this exposed wood product in it. Uh, and so you want to really make sure to monitor this because this is a toxic chemical that is not good for people. This is how you preserve you know, specimens and stuff like that. If you're not familiar with it, all of the uh, FEMA housing that was um, a big problem a couple years ago, it was the formaldehyde emitting from the materials, the particle boards, cabinets, stuff like that that was the problem. So that's what this is. This runs for 20 minutes optimal, 30 minutes maximum. So you're going to need to send uh, some time setting up your timers, making sure that you're really running this test uh, with as much scientific precision as possible. And then the other one is the VOC uh, test tube. The VOC, you're going to run for two hours of the pump running, pulling all that stuff through. It's going to collect all of the different uh, molecules that are in the air, and it's going to deposit on a lot of the stuff that's in the filtration device inside this vial. And then we're going to send both of those back to the lab. By the way, that's two hours optimal, four hours maximum. So again, make sure that you're within the windows. I have to make sure that it is between 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 degrees Fahrenheit in this space, the air temperature. We're at 66.34 degrees Fahrenheit and 68.7% relative humidity in here. I'm going to record all of that data as well as the time of day on my chain of custody form. Chain of custody form is very important. That's how the, the lab is going to interpret all of the data that they're getting because, of course, different things happen at different temperatures at different relative humidities. So they can uh, essentially, what I, as I understand it, kind of predict what should be going on in the house based on the current temperature relative humidity and then the length of time that I put in there. If they get a really weird reading and it turns out that I had my 
you know, sensor exposed for a really ridiculous length of time outside the window that they specify, then they know, oh, that's why we're getting that reading. So all of that background data is really important. Likewise, on anything like blow order testing, duct tightness testing, you want to have a lot of background data because it helps you reconstruct the story later. I'm going to use these tubes to send the stuff back to the lab. What comes inside of this is a vial uh, that's inside of another vial. So the object of the game here is they, they have a little label that says, press here. I am going to break this glass vial and I'm going to point it away from my face when I do that because, of course, this is a really exciting action movie and we are going to be uh, shooting shards of glass around this place in just a minute. I also have the non-breakable, non-glass vial that I'm going to put the test sample back into in order to ship it so that it maintains its uh, integrity as much as possible. We have to make sure that this pump is located somewhere between three and five feet above the floor. Um, that's important. You don't want to put it right down on the floor where it's going to get a bunch of dust uh, artificially put into it. Also, I've made sure that this house has been closed up for at least a full day beforehand. It's actually been closed up for like three days. No work has been happening in here. We've not been ventilating it. And so now I have my location properly set up. I have my setting, my house uh, properly set up for this test. I'm going to go ahead and break this vial and uh, we're gonna plug it in. Okay. So it has an arrow on it pointing down and I wanna make sure that that points into the direction of the pump. It is exactly 4.05, setting an alarm for 20 minutes from now. Now what our friends at Prism Analytical are going to be able to do with this sample is break down all of the molecules that are VOCs and also obviously the formaldehyde level and uh, give us hints as to what might be uh, outside the normal boundaries of what they're seeing. Some uh, chemicals come from specific things, so they might be able to say, oh, this chemical is a clear uh, signature of a, an OSB glue which we have a lot of exposed to the inside clearly around here. This one happens to be the signature from when you burn toast. So your client probably burned toast that morning. The amount of information you could get from an investigation like this into the story of a home's indoor chemistry is really exciting. So we're gonna be back. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. We will let you know what the results of this are. And then as we test again, after we start ventilating the house, and then again, after we move in, is gonna be a really interesting arc. So those will be other Healthy Indoors Minutes. Make sure that you are subscribed, if you are not already, for free, to the digital version of Healthy Indoors Magazine. Make sure that you also like and subscribe this video if you can. Check out our other videos, they're amazing. Tune in next time.